Hi everybody, it's Matt again with Gone Gears. This is going to be episode 237, and I'm going to talk tonight about fear and how that could cause us to sin. Okay, so I'm going to be in uh, the book of Nehemiah, but I'm going to read a little bit about this, just a little bit of backdrop on what's going on before I get into the verses. Uh, Nehemiah was a high official in the court of Artaxerxes, the king, and he was the king of Persia. And as a Jew, Nehemiah, Nehemiah, he was really concerned about Jerusalem and the temple and the reestablishment of um, the city, building up the temple and stuff again. So uh, approximately 14 years after Ezra received his decree from the king, Artaxerxes, all right, Nehemiah also obtained another decree, another uh, decree, and that was the same king that uh, gave that to him also about rebuilding the wall um, around the city and then rebuilding parts of the city too. But you know, whenever sin entered into the world, it's a reminder for me because I, I forget uh, a lot. But whenever you know sin entered into the world, there have always been enemies of God ever since day one. There's always been somebody fighting God, and, and which is Satan. And so we always have to remember that. And I've said before, you know, it's a spiritual battle that we need to remember. We're fighting a spiritual battle. But God has had enemies the whole time through in Nehemiah's time and before. And then even in our times today, um, there's people that just hate God and don't want nothing to do with them. And they're God's enemies. And so... Uh, in Nehemiah, I'm not going to read these verses, but chapter 6, verses 1 through 4, uh, all Nehemiah had to do was finish um, setting the doors on the gates, and then that wall would have been done and would have been secured, you know, to keep people out and whatnot. That was the last part of the task that he had to do. And sometimes the last part of a task is the hardest thing that we have to do. And that sometimes is whenever we are getting attacked and and like I said, it's a struggle to get that little bit done to say, okay, I finished this work. And so that's going to bring me up to Nehemiah chapter 6 and then verse 9. It says, For they all made us afraid, saying, Their hands shall be weakened from the work, that it be not done. Now therefore, O God, strengthen my hands. Okay, so the enemies of God, they're trying to make Nehemiah and God's people afraid. They're instilling fear in them. And whenever there's fear in our lives, we've all been there, okay? Whenever we, there's fear, we tend to not think clearly, and we're focused on that problem, we're focused on the fear, and we're forgetting about God. And I'm, I'm just as guilty. I've, I've been there. And see, that's when, we don't want to forget about God, because whenever we do, that's whenever the sin enters in. So I'm going to read uh, verse 13. It says, Therefore was he hired that I should be afraid, and do so in sin, and that they might have matter for an evil report that that they might reproach me. So Nehemiah's enemies were trying to uh, get him to sin against God, uh, to have an evil report in front of God's people. And so we don't want to live life in fear. Um, God wants us to be so in tune with him that we're not going to sin no matter what happens and what we're going through. All right, in verse 15, the wall gets finished in 52 days. Okay, now I didn't do a study on the, on the wall. Um, this wasn't just a little, you know, this was a wall that went around the whole city. And if you think about it, 52 days, um, think about if somebody put built a wall around the city of Pittsburgh or a suburb. I mean, that's, it's a, it was a big wall. 52 days, it was a miracle from God. It was a work of God. So I'm going to get on to uh, verse 16 and it says and it came to pass when all of our enemies heard thereof and all the heathen that were about us they saw these things they were much cast down in their own eyes for they perceived that this work was wrought of our god so the enemies of god in nehemiah's time they saw the completed work uh, they knew it was because of god that the work was accomplished when we see this stuff sometimes you you can only say it was with God. It was God that did it. The same holds true with us today. Uh, whenever the enemies of God, they see what we're doing, and we keep on doing, right? When we don't stop, but we keep on doing, and we don't, get, we don't give up, and we don't sin, they can say, yeah, it, it was their God. Whether they still believe or not is irrelevant, but they know that they're the God, and we want to keep a good testimony 
and keep faithful in what we're doing. And uh, God always, he honors those things. And whenever it's the end of the day, we can always say, you know, what we did. And we always want to give God the glory for it um, all the time. So whenever we finish those works, whatever they may be, whatever God, God has called you to do, um, finish the work that he's called you to do, give glory to him, and then start something else. You know, let's go ahead and have a word of prayer. <clears throat> and then we'll talk about the car here. Dear Lord, we're thankful for this day and your blessings, Lord. And we're thankful for Nehemiah and the example that he sets, Lord. You know, he was in tune with you, and he was praying to you, Lord, and, and asking to strengthen his hands. Uh, for one, we, we just want to keep in tune with you. We want to pray for what we're doing, the works that we're doing. And Lord, you, you're you going to honor and bless them. And uh, we're thankful for those things. We also, Lord, know that uh, we're going to give you the glory um, all day long. Lord, you're so worthy. Uh, of, of what we're doing and it's all for you to grow your kingdom and uh, just we're talking about heaven this week also uh, just to spend eternity with you and all this stuff is all tied together and uh, we're just thankful for that Lord. we're thankful for who you are and, and your mercy and grace in our lives and, and just everything about you lord so just be with us lord the rest of the night and thank you for all that you do for us in jesus name we do pray amen so i'm still working on the uh, a pillar on the driver's side. I got all my uh, rust converter in there. Uh, I'm working on it. So it's, it's slow, slow but sure. And I'm also doing stuff in the garage here too. So we're making progress. I don't want to say when I'll have that done, but I'm, hopefully I'll have it done here soon. So I want to just thank Stace for doing the video. She always does a good job. And I want to thank all the subscribers out there. Everybody that leads, uh, leaves comments. Um, I appreciate all that stuff. And uh, just keep focused on Jesus. Think about the works and, and the things that he has you doing in your own personal lives. And, and finish the work. Finish what he, whatever he has for you. All right. Have a blessed day and we'll see you next week.